Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Classic after quite a long break from the game. I've been uh, playing it the last couple days trying to get back into the groove on here, and I decided it was time that we do a video here on Timbergold Trails. We are currently at my favorite tree stand, which is right over here by this little lake. This has been such a fantastic tree stand to go to to get some mule deer and some elk and even some wolves if you uh, like the wolf hunting. This is just such a great spot, and we're going to spend some time here. I did open it up in multiplayer, so all of my uh, mods can join in if they want to so this could be a pretty fun uh, little hunt to do uh, but we're gonna sit here in the stand and do some calling and try to get some big bucks to come in and uh, just see what we can get uh, well this is not quite the start I was thinking we were gonna have but that is a grizzly bear right there uh, let's see if it is a male no it's just a female uh, we could probably try to sink an arrow into it from here and maybe we'll get lucky and uh, get a good shot but uh, definitely not what I was thinking we would start out with. And it looks like we did drop it on the spot, so that's good at least. Uh, we also heard a cow elk over there, so we'll probably wait for her to come in. Maybe there'll be a bull with her, but uh, I'm kind of thinking it's probably just some cows. Uh, there's a doe right there, so I guess we got to take that out first. Not exactly the mule deer that I was hoping to uh, start out with today, but you know what? It's uh, at least something for us to take down. Let's just uh, do that real quick, and that'll take care of her. Uh, we still got those cow elk coming in, and uh, once we take those down, hopefully we can start getting some calls from some bulls or some uh, mule deer bucks. Well, there's our cow right there. I also did recently pick up the camo, uh, or the winter camo snake bite, and I gotta say, this is probably my favorite bow now. I really like the look of it, and uh, it's my favorite purely off of its looks. I already loved the uh, regular snake bite, and this one just looks uh, 10 times better than the regular one. So this has easily become my favorite bow to use. Well, if she's just gonna stop right there, might as well just drop an arrow into her. And uh, looks like we also have another doe over there. Uh, lots of females today, no bucks or bulls in sight though. I think literally everything we've shot today has been a female, so we're off to a great start, I'd say. <laughs> I think this should be a good angle to get her down at, hopefully. Yeah, that'll do the trick right there. Hopefully, once we've got all these does out of the way, we can actually get some bucks to come in, because uh, we're off to kind of a slow start with just a bunch of does and uh, cow elk and one random female grizzly. So hopefully things will pick up as we move on in this hunt. So we actually do have a wolf right here, and this honestly might be one of the reasons why there wasn't really much coming in. Uh, definitely could be the issue, because wolves do tend to spook everything in the area. Uh, once this little guy stops, we will take it out. And there we go. Hopefully that'll be a good wolf. And I think we might even have more. I could have swore I just heard another footstep. Well, I guess we'll kind of wait it out and see if there's anything else, and uh, if there's not, then we'll drop down and claim everything. But I swear I heard at least one more footstep. There we go, we finally got the call of a bull elk. Let's uh, see how far away that is, so it's actually pretty close. And it is in the direction that the wolves were, so I do got a feeling that this wolf was keeping it from coming over here. So it's a good thing we took that guy out. Uh, we're actually going to jump down and claim it real quickly because I do want to see what this guy ends up scoring. Uh, I don't really know too much about the wolves. All I know is that a uh, high 16 is usually a good one. Uh, that one's 16 on the dot. That's not a bad wolf. But I think it needs to be like at least 16.7 or 16.8 to be a good one. Uh, from what I could tell based off the leaderboards. But that's a decent wolf. Definitely not too bad. Well, there it is. That's actually not too bad of a bull. That uh, should be a decent one to start out with. It does have one back tine on each side, so that's at least good. I think this one probably will hit 300, maybe a little bit higher. Uh, I guess we shall see, though. But that is the first mail down of the day. Hopefully that will be a, a good sign for uh, future elk and mule deer that come through here. Well, I guess we did kill the male uh, wolf, but uh, that's not an antlered species. Well, we've got ourselves a female Rocky Mountain Elk right here once again. Let's just uh, drop an arrow into her right there. And uh, that will actually be the last arrow right there. Let's grab another stack. And uh, let's go ahead and grab that bull and also the cow real quick. And uh, if we can, we'll go grab that bear as well. 
Uh oh. There's another elk right there. Uh, now we gotta be extra careful that we don't spook it off. That is the last thing that I would want to do here. There might actually be multiple as well. Right, so we took care of her. Uh, there's definitely one more elk right there. Hopefully this won't spook off. But there is a chance that it will. There we go. That actually went way better than I expected it to. Uh, let's go ahead and see what this bull scores. I'm guessing it'll be close to 300. Might even top 300 depending on uh, what the scoring is like. Just grab this guy real quick. So it does end up being a 316. That's kind of where I expected it to be. We're not going to trophy shot that guy because it's uh, not really anything too crazy. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and claim all this stuff and then we will jump back into the stand. So we've got another male wolf right there. Uh, once again, I don't really know too much about the uh, weights and scores for the wolves. So it's going to be hard for me to tell whether or not this is a good one. Uh, but I mean, it's here. Once it gets closer, we will take it out. Uh, it's kind of doing circles, so I don't know what's going on with that. There's actually another one down here as well. Hopefully this is also a male. If it is, that'll be a pretty good thing for us. And it's a female, but still another wolf. Uh, we'll attempt to prioritize this guy, but they're kind of just circling. This is a very weird behavior. I don't quite know what to think about that. What What is this wolf doing? Yeah, this is the most interesting thing I've seen all day. These wolves are just circling. I don't know what to make of that. Are they even going to get close enough to take a shot? I'm starting to think that they won't. I guess we'll just kind of wait it out and see what happens. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't see this ending anytime soon. They're still just circling. This is the weirdest thing I've ever encountered in Classic. That's just strange. They're just constantly circling with uh, no signs of them stopping anytime soon. I mean, this one's actually within range now. Uh, the problem is going to be actually getting it to stop moving. But I mean, it is getting closer at least. I can't see this working out though. Ah, uh, this might be our chance right here if it just stays for a little bit longer, but... Ah, uh, this is so difficult. Maybe this will be it. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that actually worked. Although, it looks like we didn't get a great shot, but it still should die. And that at least uh, got the other one unbugged. So, yeah, I guess that kind of worked out. We at least got the mail. And it looks like Kyla has actually just connected to the session, so at least somebody else decided to join in. Hopefully, uh, that will bring the luck for us, since uh, it seems like Kyla's always lucky whenever Flinter joins her games. Maybe uh, Kyla joining this game will bring us some luck. Uh, well, that's an elk right there. I suppose we should chase after that as well. Uh, we do need to continue following that wolf. I believe this is the track. Yeah, this is definitely the track. So we're going to continue chasing this guy. Uh, but we also got that elk to go after now. Okay, so there's our wolf over there. Which means we should be able to just focus on that elk now. And hopefully it'll be a good one. I did hear a couple cow elk with it as well, so hopefully they won't uh, spook off as we try to take down that bull. But at least we got ourselves another male. So that's our wolf right there. We were a little bit far back on the shot. Uh, hopefully this will be a big one. And it is a 15.6, so it's actually pretty small. Not really anything too special there. But hopefully this elk will be much larger. Oh, there it is right there. That is our elk. Let's just prone down and wait for it to get a little bit closer, and then we will uh, take it out. It doesn't look like it's too crazy, but it is another bull. And in fact, I think this is going to be our shot right here. There we go. That'll do the trick on him. Ooh, that actually looks like an even better bull right there. Yeah, that's definitely a little bit better, I'd say. It's not crazy big, but 
you know it's actually kind of hard to tell it's about the same all right so once again we got to be careful here not to spook everything off because there is a ton of cows in the area so we don't want to spook one of them off uh we will just take a shot on this guy though and quickly drop down and i think we should be okay uh let's also take out this cow if we can uh she's in a half decent location and uh yeah that should do it the rest are now spooking off so I'm not going to worry too much about being uh, quiet now. Let's just go claim all of these and see if any of these were at least half decent. I think these two have a chance of breaking 300, but they'll probably just be high 200s. You know, it's kind of hard to tell, but I think this front one is probably going to be the better one. So we'll claim him last. Uh, this one right here ends up being a 284. So that's kind of about where I expected it to be. And uh, this one's probably slightly higher scoring, maybe like 280, or I was going to say 290, but uh, yeah, 290, not too bad. So, I'd say it's probably time that we move up the river. I don't know which river to go to, though. I'm thinking we'll probably go this direction and uh, end around here and uh, just see what we can find along that path. We have not really found too many good mule deer today, however, I did find a pretty crazy good mule deer the other night when I was hunting this tree stand that we just came from. I was just chilling in the tree stand, I had actually just opened the session up, and then we have this giant mule deer walk out of the trees, and the second that I saw it, I immediately knew that this was going to be a 220 plus buck. I was really hoping that it would be my 240, uh, but unfortunately I believe it had a few short tines so it wasn't able to quite make uh, the 240 mark, but it was still a really large buck and ended up scoring uh, into the mid 220s, so a very solid mule deer, and it's definitely the biggest one I've killed in a very long time, so I was very excited to see that guy walk out, a, a quite a beautiful trophy, and uh, definitely one of the better things that I've killed as of recent. Well, there's our first uh, grunt from a buck. Let's hope this ends up being a decent one. At least it's our first buck of the day, so to be honest, I'm just happy to even hear one grunt. Let's uh, be careful not to spook this thing because uh, it would kind of suck if we spooked off our first buck of the day. Well, I can officially hear it. There it is. That's, uh, yeah, it's not exactly the type of buck we were hoping to see. But I suppose it's still our first buck of the day, so that's a positive at least. Let's just uh, wait for this thing to get slightly closer. And then uh, we will take the shot on it. And in fact, this is uh, probably good right here. Just get lined up and... That should do the trick right there. Hopefully there will be some more bucks near. But at least we got one of them down. Yeah, this guy's about as small as they get, unfortunately, but uh, once again, at least it's a male. Uh, 96 scoring mule deer buck. We just need one more uh, mule deer buck over 91 kgs to complete this mission, so at least it worked towards completing a mission. That's uh, probably the best part about that one. Ooh, oh my gosh. Uh, that is a really beautiful wolf. I can't say I've ever seen one of these. You know what? Let's uh, just shoot it with the rifle because that actually looks like it could be rare. I know absolutely nothing about the wolves, but I've never seen one of those. That is really cool looking. I think that must ha that must be some kind of like red brown for variation or something like that. I think we got a decent shot into it, although it did run away. But that is really cool. That's the first one I've seen. Well, there it is right there. That is really beautiful. Now, like I was saying, I don't know if this is rare or just an uncommon, but I've never seen one of these before. Uh, given I have not hunted the wolves a lot, but that is uh, beautiful. It says that it's just a common, uh, but that is a really cool looking wolf. Never been able to uh, bag one of these before, so I'm kind of excited about that. Even though it does appear that it is just a common, that's a beautiful looking wolf still. Now unfortunately it is kind of hard to get a good trophy pose in this area, there's a lot of grass, so I kind of just got to deal with whatever we can get. Uh, also it decided to rain, so that doesn't help either. 
Well, that's probably about as good as, as it's going to get for us. Uh, there's not really too good of uh, options when it comes to lighting and angle. So we're just going to go with this. Let's go with the shadows. I kind of like this uh, filter. It kind of makes it pop out a little bit more, I feel. Uh, same with the chroma, but I've decided to go with the shadows for this one. But yeah, it's a cool wolf for sure. Definitely the uh, nicest wolf I've seen. I've never been able to come across that uh, fur type before. But uh, let me know down in the comments how common that actually is because I've never seen it and I hunt timber gold a decent bit. But uh, yeah, I guess we should uh, move on and see if we can find anything else decent. Ooh, there we go. Another buck grunt. Let's hope this ends up being a little bit better than the last one because that last one was just uh, quite honestly pathetic. Let's hope that this one's a little bit better. That is actually a second one, so it looks like we got two chances of having a good buck up there. Let's just hope that one of them is at least a 190. Okay, so one of them's really close, but I can't tell where. I've got a feeling these were spooked off when I took that shot with the rifle on the wolf because they have not been coming to the calls at all. Although that is definitely closer than I expected. Uh, let's attempt to get a shot in there. Yeah, that should do it. That's a much better buck than what we previously found. Uh, the question is, where's his buddies? There's at least three others with him. I definitely hear one more, I think. This guy's just a 146. Yeah, there we go. There's the rest of them. Are any of these big? Uh, not really. No, they're all pretty small. But there should be one more. If I remember right, they're typically in fives. And yep, there they go. They spooked off. Well, you know what? I think we're probably going to go ahead and call the video there on that note. We at least got a little bit of a better mule deer towards the end here. But that uh, 224 was the main reason that I wanted to do this video was to show you guys that. So we managed to do that and we got a few uh, other trophies along the way. Nothing too crazy, but... At least we got a decent amount of animals down. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any future uploads. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below if you guys enjoyed, and let me know what else you guys would like to see me uh, do in future videos. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!